Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. What's up, Aquarius? If you guys are new for the first time, guys, welcome, y'all. If you have been rocking with me, though, you already know what it is. I love you guys and thank you for the support. So, Aquarius, let's go ahead and jump right in. And this is like your energy for the weekend, right? The last week of March, okay? All right, what do you guys need to hear right now? Um, Aquarius, uh, you guys know that these are general readings, right? So please only take what resonates. Don't force it if it's not your story. Um, and in addition, guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, all that information is going to be listed below for you guys. And you guys, help me get to a 1,000, right? So if you're not rocking with me yet, you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit the sub button. Come rock with your girl. Um, add a 1,000 subs. We get to go ahead and go live, guys. I cannot wait to go live, okay? <laughs> I'm like, it's going to go live. So you guys, come rock with me, okay? Um, so you right now you guys have watching clouds and fogged in. Go slow and take your time. Lie back, rest, and relax. Okay, so you guys are going hard for something. Real, you know, you guys are going hard, hard, hard. Right? Um, don't burn yourself out. Take a you know, take a second to rest. Okay, um, so that you guys can see something clearly. All right, so it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing, guys. All right, so you guys. Um, we have here, the first thing I'm drawn to is the moon, okay? So this is kind of healing the past, right? Releasing something from the past, maybe kind of healing those insecurities, right? Releasing something, right? You're crossing the bridge, so you're leaving something behind, and you are kind of walking by faith, right, with the light. This could be lessons that you have learned, okay? You're walking into the unknown, but you're letting your soul guide you, right? The moon can also speak to intuition as well, okay? So releasing the past and moving forward, yeah, keep move, keep going forward, right? So beautiful, you guys are transitioning some, from something. Passion and ple pleasure. Savor your life, guys. So this is all about kind of doing things that make you happy here. All right? Maybe dancing, maybe music, okay? Um, yeah. All right, so let's see what we have, guys. Savor your life. Let me put this over and get the messages, guys. All right, we have the full moon here in both of these pictures. All right, so you guys could definitely be healing from something, right? Maybe some secrets came out, right? You guys are kind of um, looking past the illusion, though. You guys are walking towards something that you're passionate about, right? Absolutely, like your soul. Like your soul is your soul is speaking to you, right? Your soul is pushing you forward, right? And you guys are kind of stepping up to the calling, right? Maybe, yeah, look at this, guys. So um, so here we have resting, right? Resting, healing, taking a break, right? Um, healing from some kind of heartbreak or just kind of resting so that you guys can make your next move, right? The King of Wands, he's a very passionate individual. He's very charismatic. He's very enthusiastic, right? He's looking at this new beginning. So you guys are wanting to move towards something. You're passionate about something. You're passionate about someone and you're wanting a new passion. You're wanting a new beginning, right? You're taking a leap of faith, right? You're learning from your past mistakes and you're trusting the process, right? With this lab turned right everything is dark the moon you may not be able to see everything absolutely thank you with the illusions right so you guys are going by faith you're going by that intuition you're letting your soul guide you beautiful guys right you're releasing the past guys right because you're starting a new journey so this is beautiful Aquarius all right and we have it here lots of passion right so you guys are definitely passionate about something you're taking action you're moving forward all right there may be a look at this guys you guys are taking action. You guys are moving, right? Maybe you're kind. Of, maybe somebody's moving in with you, right? You're. This is, could be love for you, right? You're bringing a new love into a relationship, or you have new love coming in for you, right? It's going to be passionate. It's going to be love. There's going to be attraction. There's going to be love, and it's going to have some young energy, right? So some of you guys may need to kind of bring some young energy into your life right now, okay? So that you can kind of re relax and bring a new spark to that idea, or bring a new spark to your love life, okay? Um, or just bring a new spark to your life in general. But this is beautiful, guys. Okay, yeah, you guys are definitely starting something new or wanting to start something new. Your passion is with someone or something, and you guys are acting on it. Beautiful. All right. Right, everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. Um, your past experiences kind of bring you to who you are right now today, and then you move forward, right? You blossom right yes okay look at this you guys are being divinely guided the high priestess okay your intuition is talking to you guys right your intuition is guiding you there are things that you are not able to see right now guys trust the process on this right because the intuition it talks about secrets um some of you guys are maybe healing from some secrets right you're leaving the past behind time for healing right yeah some of you guys definitely um yeah guys 
Some of you guys heard about some secrets, okay? So we have the temperance card. This talks about healing. It also talks about being divinely guided, though, guys, right? You guys are being divinely guided toward your soul's calling, towards your path, all right? So make sure that you're remaining balanced, right? This is also about patience, guys, okay? So be patient with yourself during the process. Um, but then trust the process. You guys have two cards that speak to you being divinely guided. Some of you guys are healing from a past situation, though, right? Okay, five of swords, right? Accepting things for what they are, right? Maybe there's a need to kind of look at something differently. All right, go with the flow on this, guys. Whatever this was, this was a lesson to kind of push you in the right direction that you're supposed to go. So go ahead and drop the confusion, drop the pain, and look at how look at how you've grown from it, right? You're crossing the bridge. You're moving on. You're moving forward. All right, absolutely, guys. Shift your perspective on something and know that everything happened for a reason, right? Because you have a new beginning here. So if you guys are kind of sitting in that energy of lack or sitting in that energy of confusion sitting in that energy of pain it's going to be hard to kind of hear that intuition that is trying to guide you in a new direction some of you guys maybe heard some news about some babies possibly right with the empress and the um the high the high priestess here together um, and there's a need to kind of heal. Others of you guys, all right, you guys have this idea that you're wanting and you're birthing it, right? Um, let your intuition guide you guys because it's going to guide you in the direction of happiness, okay? Um, yeah, you guys are definitely being divinely guided. But I feel like, too, though, you guys have to be confident, right? And know your worth, know your power. Okay, whatever situations happened in the past, they happen to help you grow. They happen to help you evolve, right? And now you're sitting in your power firm as the empress. You can do anything. Anything she touches grows. And then you have the high priestess here guiding you guys. This is meant for success, okay, guys? This is beautiful. Absolutely, guys. You guys are stepping into your power. All right, but look at something differently, right? Let this be something that taught you more about yourself and pushed you in that in the right direction, okay, guys? All right, so the Queen of Wands, this is all about you guys being confident, right? You guys have these new beginnings. You guys are enlightened from past experiences. You guys have learned, okay? Um, there's a lot of women here, guys, so there definitely could have been something that came out about a lot of women. We have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Empress nearby, guys, and we have the Healing card, okay? So some of you guys kind of find, found something out about multiple people. All right, others of you guys, though, this is you guys having confidence in yourself, right? Knowing who has your back, being able to trust that intuition, okay? Um, you guys are you guys are being sexy right now. You're stepping into your power, right? You have new beginnings. You have this passionate, burning desire to go towards something, right? So you guys, don't be scared, right? Go towards it. Trust the process on this, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is like know, know, who, know your worth, right? Let go of the things that are no longer resonating with you so that you can move forward, okay? Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so you guys are looking for commitment, right? You guys are looking for stability. You guys are looking for money, and it's coming, right? So you guys are you guys are standing pretty strong right now, and it's because of your past experiences, right? You turn that pain into power, and it pushes you right in the direction of success. It pushes you right in the direction of that committed relationship, okay? Some of you guys could have somebody coming in for you, somebody that you're really attracted to, okay? Um, could be a secret admirer. Absolutely, guys. But the Ten of Pentacles, guys, this is money coming in for you guys. This is you're looking for commitment. You're wanting stability. You're doing something for the long term, right? You're planning your future, all right? Some of you guys are kind of leaving something behind because of a lack of commitment, right? So you guys don't stay in that energy. Once again, go ahead and shift the way you're looking at something, right? And move forward, okay? Beautiful. You guys might have this passionate, um, you guys may be kind of chasing a business or starting a business, right? And it's going to bring you long-term stability. This is beautiful, guys. All right. Yes, you guys are following your calling, right? You guys have learned so much from your past, and you guys are rising up. You are you are a new person, right? You're standing firm in your power, right? Guys, this is beautiful. It led you right to, the, to your calling, right? Some of you guys are healers, right? With this cross here, some of you guys are wanting to heal people, but you guys have been enlightened. You have learned major lessons, right? So please take those lessons and turn them into your power, guys. All right, others of you guys have um, somebody coming in for you, right? This could be a resurrection. It could be a relationship from the past, okay? So you guys, maybe they're wanting to come back and they're wanting that commitment, 
right? So you guys, please make sure that you're looking at something from a different perspective. Don't stay stuck in the past. Don't stay stuck in the hurt. Don't stay stuck in the confusion, right? Be shift, shift your perspective and allow this new beginning to come in. Let your intuition talk to you, right? It's going to tell you if it's right or wrong, all right? Others of you guys, though, right? Don't make the same mistakes that you've already learned from, okay? You've already learned from some mistakes, right? You're right here now. You're, you're fully in your power or there is a need to be fully in your power and learn from your past mistakes, okay, guys? You're looking for commitment, right? Be careful about the decisions that you make, right? Otherwise, these cycles are going to keep on repeating. You guys, go ahead and break the cycle, okay? Beautiful. All right, guys. The strength card, yes, you guys turned the pain into power, right? You are way stronger than what you guys think you are, right? And you're being divinely guided, so please trust this. All right, go ahead and tame that inner that inner child, that inner demon, or, you know, just something that is saying, hey, you know what, you're not worthy, you're not confident, you're not going to have this, you're not going to have that relationship, you're not going to have that business, you're not sexy. You guys, go ahead and tame that, right? Go ahead and listen to your intuition. Your, your intuition only knows love, and it's only going to speak loving thoughts into your mind, right? Right, which is going to help you be confident and help you move forward, okay? Um, so yeah, you guys are healing from something, right? Or you guys are trying to start something and it's not easy. But this is saying you, you're way stronger than what you think. So please be courageous and keep moving forward, okay? Heal that past and look forward, guys. Everything happens for a reason, right? And because of that, you guys, you guys, you guys are having a new beginning. You guys are beautiful, right? You guys, whatever this is, a relationship or it's just you, but whatever it is, guys, Please trust it happened for a reason, guys. All right. So look at the beauty in it. <laughs> all right. So first of all, you guys have somebody coming in and they are coming in strong, right? It's because you've done the healing work, right? As because you healed, you stepped into your power. You got somebody coming in that's going to match your hustle. You got somebody that's going to bring you commitment. They're going to be financial sta financially stable, right? You guys are kind of retreating from the world, getting to know each other. You guys are just focused on yourself, right? You're not focusing on the past. This is somebody that is mirroring you at your present moment right now. So if you're fully healed, guess what you're getting? You're getting somebody who's fully healed. Beautiful, guys. Okay, and I feel like this is sent from the above, right? The high priestess, okay? A divine connection, all right? Others of you guys, right? This is maybe you kind of needing to heal yourself, right? Needed to kind of bring that masculine and feminine energy into your life, right? Know who you are, okay? Um, beautiful, guys. Yeah, so there could have been some healing in a relationship that came back around. There could also just be like some kind of new relationship coming in for you guys, right? This could also be you guys too, kind of healing, your, healing yourself. All right, so four of pentacles, guys, right? This is all about kind of not being so guarded, right? You have a new beginning in something or with someone, okay? So you guys are going to create together, right? You're going to work together. You've learned your past mistakes, so, you know, you're not going to carry those forward. You're going to carry the lessons, right? But you look at it differently, and you turn it into your power, and you move forward, right? You don't hang on to it where it keeps you stuck so that you're not guarded, okay? So you guys drop the wall. Right, go with the flow on this so that you can allow this new beginning to come in for you guys, right? Because it's right here, but there's a need to kind of shift something in order to um in order for it to fully develop, okay? Yeah, guys, some of you guys could be holding on to the past pain and there's a need to kind of let that go. You've learned your lesson from that, right? You're ready to evolve, you're ready to move forward, okay? All right, others of you guys, there's a relationship coming back around, right? Somebody didn't want to let it go, and they're coming back. They're coming in correct, right? They're coming in healed. They're coming in to match your hustle, and they're coming in with commitment, right? And um, you guys are working together, right? You guys are growing together, right? You guys are learning those lessons, and you're not going back. You're leaving the past in the path. This is a rebirth right this is beautiful all right guys so um there's a couple messages here some of you guys are healing right some of you guys are kind of ne needing to let your intuition guide you right it's going to guide you to everything that you want the ten of pentacles guys that's the happiness that's the that's that could be you right just kind of security for yourself um others of you guys so it's you know that woman that man all right beautiful guys yeah the journey wasn't easy Right, but we're gonna read these two cards because that's flexible. I feel like this is kind of going with the flow, right? There's a new beginning here, um, and you could you could be being molded, or you know, there's a need to kind of just be more flexible to allow growth. Okay, so let's read number seven first. This is very good, though, guys. Um, 
to the sea. Isn't it wonderful when you feel um, yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Beautiful, guys, right? You're being divinely guided because you are. Trust the process on this, right? The, the high priestess is not going to steer you wrong. All right, go with the flow, guys, okay? Go ahead and don't feel so guarded. Let that wall down, okay? Trust the process on this, all right? Beautiful. All right, so number 19, guys. Let's see, what do we have? Flexible. All right, a tree's roots are solid, uh, solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be right now, willing to learn new things, teachable, um, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but also, but so also is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. Beautiful guys, right? So yes, yeah, building a solid foundation because of your past experiences, but be willing to learn and go with the flow and allow new opportunities in. Right? The Queen of Wands, this is somebody who has learned from her experiences and she's ready to move forward, right? She's bringing a new beginning. She's been enlightened. She's the she's the rose that grew from the concrete, right? But she's not going to stay there. She is ready to evolve and um, uh, embrace the new life, embrace the new life that is, that is coming for her, okay? So guys, that's all I have for you, Aquarius, right? Short and sweet. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, but thank you so much for rocking with me. And as always, y'all talk to your girl. I talk back, y'all. Peace.